As we have started with an introduction in the course, we end with a kind of epilogue that was a prologue and it is an epilogue. So, here I have actually summed up two major courses, one is a calculus on real variables and one is a calculus of many, many variables. Of course, what I have, I have spoken about two variables and three variables can be generalized to R n. For example, if you take a function f from R n to R, so it has n variables. So, f of x where x is in R n can be more descriptively written as which we do not do in general. So, if you want to talk about a gradient of f at a given point x, this is nothing but the vector of partial differentials, partial derivatives of first order del f del x 1 del f del x 2 dot 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 del f del x n. So, whatever we have done here up to 3 dimensions can be now algebraically extended, geometry no longer gives you a view. Algebra, but algebraically those ideas can be extended. And so, whatever we have learned for two dimensions, three dimensions, most of them implicit function theorem, Lagrange multiplier rule can be extended to many dimensions, higher dimensions. So, this extension is possible, that is what I want to say. Summing up this whole two courses, it is a major course actually. I have hardly taught calculus in my own career maybe once and, uh, but it was fun to teach calculus. To the extent that I have got received so much uh, mails from various people and though I had promised a kind of notes in the first one, it had been difficult to write it down. But what I now think is that I will put these notes into form of a book which can be later on put on the net or put on the uh, actually published as a book. because. Uh, uh, a lot of things, lot of fantastic things can be told in one variable calculus. At least the one variable calculus idea lectures can be formed into a book. There are many, many things because I also would learn a lot as I go on because I believe in this dictum of Richard Feynman, the great American physicist Richard Feynman. I am, many of you must have read, surely you are joking Mr. Feynman and hardly there is a science student who does not know the name of Richard Feynman is that there is nothing to unlearn. So, this process of learning is not a learning process for me, it is not an I am a know all who is speaking here, I am also liable to make very, very fundamental errors. Maybe there are some, maybe I also have fundamental misunderstandings. In fact, I had always worried when I was a student, the people talk about differential, they handle this dx, these things. As if they are playing with numbers. I always worried about these things. Why, why, why do we uh, talk like this? And in fact, Bertrand Russell, the great mathematician and philosopher, who also had that feeling that calculus might not be so rigorous, though it is actually, it can be put in very, very rigorous for, for framework. Here also we have used dx, dy, dz. So these differentials have to be clearly spelt out what are what are these. We have also used the term infinitesimal. In mathematicians use this infinitesimal is a very scary thing. It tells it is smaller than the smallest number you can imagine. My goodness, my smallest positive number that I can imagine. So, I do not think it is uh, the only thing that, I, that, it, that it can be 0. In fact, Euler, the great Euler has a calculus book. I think you would learn calculus first much better if you actually go and look at Euler's book. What Euler says is that guys, if 
the infinite decimal if somebody talks about infinite decimal the only thing that he, he said and it is possible yeah, is true of course that the only possible infinite decimal is 0. But now if you look at the logical theory of infinite decimal the grades of infinite decimal and all those things. But later on I found in a very beautiful book by written by a very famous mathematician Richard Courant and John Fritz John a great name in partial differential equations and also a famous name in optimization. So, this these two mathematicians have written a calculus book. People great some great mathematicians have written books on calculus because calculus certain concepts needs actually very deep clarification. So, they tried to explain what is a differential. So, if you go by our standard notations. So, if y is a function of x and if I make a Taylor's expansion of the first order f of x plus delta x is f of x plus f dash x into delta x plus some small o quantity of del x. So, what do I know that the only thing I know is that O of del x by del x goes to 0 as del x goes to 0. Now, I will bring this f x to this side and I can write f of x plus del x minus f x and this is what I will call as delta of y because y is equal to f x the change in the value of y the value of the function is f dash x plus f dash x into delta x f dash x into delta x plus the error. When delta x is very very small so, what does this mean? This means that O of delta x runs to 0 or goes towards 0 faster than delta x can go to 0 because if delta x was going to 0 faster this value would actually keep on increasing it will blow up towards infinity. The fact that it goes to 0 tells us that this goes to 0 much faster than this can go to 0. So, when del x is becoming very very small this is becoming also very very small that is the key idea here. So, suppose I now look at only this quantity. So, observe this quantity f dash x into del x. Now, when if you look at this quantity when del x is very small if del x equal to 1 this quantity is nothing but f dash x. But when del x is very small the change in y is largely due to this factor because the error becomes very small. So, the change in y is largely due to this factor. As a result, this thing, this factor is called a differential in y, it is defined as a differential in y and is symbolized as dy. So, dy is defined as f dash x into delta x. So, when delta x is very small, when delta x is very small, is small and then we also symbolize delta x right. We also write delta x we write delta we also give when delta x is small we we just use the symbol use the symbol del x a d x for delta x 
and then that gives me and this one actually gives me dy is equal to f dash x dx. So, actually it is f dash x into delta x and delta x is 1 the differential is nothing but f dash y. So, when dx is when delta x is very small differential of y is the ch the differential of y accounts for the main accounts for the main part in the change of the value of y. So, delta of y is actually the differential of y plus the error. Now, you can write here as O of dx also if you want. This is the, so this is the meaning of differential of y. So, if you now divide by delta of x, now, now if you have delta y by delta x, so it is dy by delta x, but delta x is dx when dx is very small. So, O of dx is in, in fact here delta x, we can just keep it as delta x, O of delta x by, I am writing, here I am writing dy dx, here I am delta x. Now, take the limit. So, if you take the limit as d, del x goes to 0, so, so d i d y represents this very small change, this, this change, this is this number is called, this number is called is denoted as d y. So, this is nothing but dy dx plus 0 because delta x by this, this part goes to 0. So, it gives me back the definition of the derivative. So, this is the whole thing that, so the key idea is that delta y when x is very small, the main chunk of the change in y is affected by this part. Or del x So, change in f or change in the function value is a differential of the function plus the error. That is the idea that the change is nothing but the differential plus the error. That is that, that is what it, it what it means. So, this when when I am talking about dy, I am essentially talking about a small number here and dx is a small number, but when I am talking about ddx of y, here I am talking about this limit. This ratio now, because this is, this will go to 0, this will go to 0. This ratio, you can say what happens if del x also goes to 0, but this is, this is your f dash x, because you have, this is your f dash x, you have actually divided of the del x. Right. This is this is what happens. So another way to so delta y is equal to f dash x plus delta x plus O of delta x. You take divide by delta x and take the limit. It will give you f dash x. So your f dash x. So here also you have the same thing. So delta y by delta x is f this plus this. So, this, this does not no longer is depending on dx, you might say oh delta x goes to 0, dx also goes to 0, of course. So, but here is the crux point that delta x is, this dx is just a symbolism for delta x when delta x is very small and the error is 0 and that is why we write dy is f dash x into delta x. So, dy is not this dy, this is not dy device this part. So, again I want to write that you have to remember here that dy, so this is nothing but this dy plus O of delta x. This is something one has to remember. The change in the function value is the differential plus the error. So, if I sum up the course, this is a very important thing that you have to keep in mind. 
and then only we can you can be much more rigorous while you are working right so suppose we will write so so dx is dx dt dt so the differential of x is the derivative of x with respect to t into dt just this definition so when people suddenly you, will, you you have dx here and people would say oh you have dx you have dx i vector plus dy j vector and they, these are functions of t x and x and y you will suddenly see them written as dx dt i vector plus dy dt j vector dt you will sorry what happened it just d t multiply kar diya. No, no, it is not like that. When you write d x, it is that it is you are talking about the differential of the function x uh, which is a function of t. So, d x actually means x dash t d x d t into d t and d y means y dash t into d t and that is exactly what is written x dash t into d t y dash t into d t. Take the d t out and here x dash t is nothing but d x d t y d y dash t is nothing but dy dt. So, that has to be that that has to be you are always applying this definition please understand this is the definition of the differential the differential is f dash x into the change in x that is that the definition of the differential of the function value. So, that is exactly what you are applying it is not that you are multiplying dt here and dt here no you are applying this definition whether it is dy dx we are applying this definition because here x is a function of t here y is a function of t it is the differential that we are talking about. So, we are talking about the differential right. So, when you am writing dx I am talking about the differential I am essentially looking at the large chunk of change in x y I am not looking at the actual change in y I am looking at the change in y affected by the derivative how much the derivative to what extent the derivative plays a role in the change that change of value that y has a y that has taken place what component what is the contribution of the derivative to the change of the, the value of the y. So, value of the y has changed because x has changed. So, when you look at that how much the y value has changed the differential tells you how much what is the role of the derivative how much is the role of the derivative in that change how much change is been affected by the derivative and that is the key idea of calculus that is the key idea of calculus that we always look at the change in a function value through its derivative. So, that is and that is why derivative is a fantastic way to measure change and that is a very handy tool and that is exactly what we keep on doing. When we are looking for a change we, when we write dx we are essentially eager to know how much is the x value y value or z value is changing as a function of t how much the in terms of the derivative how much to what extent how much is the deri derivative part of the change. So, you know that it is change in y is the differential plus dx order of this the error. So, I am not bothered about the error I am essentially telling that I want to know how much here the derivative is there it is here. So, how much change the derivative is affecting in the change of y it is not giving me the total change, but it is giving me a large part of the change because when del x is very small and the error is very small this is the key idea of calculus and this is what you have to keep in mind and so friends. It is time for me to say goodbye, it is time for me to thank all the people who has uh, supported me in this uh, giving this huge course over 2 years of calculus 1 and calculus 2 2018-2019. I thank uh, all the people in the office who had been kind to me, I have been late in many times arriving at uh, uh, for arriving for the lectures, people have been very kind they have uh, stood up with all my they have tolerated all my idiosyncrasies 
I have completed uh, 5 MOOC courses and that ends my relationship with the MOOC program. So, as I go out of the MOOC program, I would like to thank everybody and if, if my behavior has anyway saddened anybody, I really want to say apo apologize if in my if any student have been uh, at the receiving end of my any of my behavior, maybe I have not answered their mail, maybe I have not satisfied them with their answer, they can still write back to me, I would like to answer them back. So, because there are so many other work you I might not be answered the, answering them right away, but maybe because my email ID is public, you can definitely answer me back whenever you want, you write me back whenever you want. So, thank you, goodbye, have an excellent career ahead of, I am sure all the people who are looking at this course are very young, brilliant, sharp minds and uh, I am sure you do very well in your chosen path whether it is engineering, mathematics, economics, physics, chemistry, even biology, biology needs a lot of math nowadays. Please understand, do not, uh, biology is a also kind of mathematical science. So, thank you once again. So, I would last tell you, my last words to you would be, love mathematics and mathematics would love you and help in your work. And that is the only thing I can say and I am happy that I could share my love for mathematics with you. Thank you.